Hello, my name is Wayne Vandermolen of Paramount Tool Company in Holland, Michigan. Today we're looking at a flow drill and tap machine. This machine has been designed and built to flow drill and then tap thin wall steel tubing. The machine is also set up with interchangeable tooling to allow for different widths and different lengths of the steel tubing. The machine is set up with an Allen Bradley PanelView Plus 1000 color touch screen. This screen allows for the operator to interface with the programs and select the different parts that need to be run. This also allows for the operator to change locations of the parts, number of holes to be put in as required by production. Currently there are 14 different parts that are loaded into the PLC program and ran through the panel view. The flow drill and tap machine is set up with two segments, the tap side and the flow drill side. The flow drill is in the back segment. The operator loads the non-drilled tubing into the tooling. The tooling clamps the part, the segment moves forward, and the flow drill extends down and drills the hole in the part. Multiple holes are drilled as the segment moves forward. Once that's completed, the segment returns back to home position, the flow drill goes to home position, and the part is unclamped. When the flow drill operation is complete, the operator will remove the part, move it to the front location, where now it's clamped for the tapping operation. The segment moves forward, the tap head extends down, taps the hole, retracts, and completes the number of holes required for that particular part. Some of the key features of the flow drill and tap machine are PhD grippers, SMC air system, THK profile rails, alpha gear rack system driven by the Allen Bradley servos, and a Trabon auto lube system.